Welcome to this video on addition rules of probability. Uh, we are going to explore this rule rules in two parts. The first one is addition rule of probability one. And here we'll be talking about mutually exclusive or disjoint events. And these are the probability events that cannot occur at the same time. So if you are looking at two events A and B, the probability of occurrence of A and B is not at the same time. They do not occur at the same time. So for the mutually exclusive event, the addition rule of probability will be probability of A or B, whenever we see the or, we are using the addition rule, probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B when A and B are disjoint. Let's see how we can use this formula or what type of problems are there that includes max, uh, mutually exclusive or disjoint events. Here is the example. A bag contains 16 white marbles. Let's see what is given. So inside the bag, you have 16 white marbles, three red marbles, nine blue marbles, and seven yellow marbles. So in the bag, if you want to find how many marbles are there in all, that is n equal to, the total number is equal to 16 plus 3 plus 9 plus 7, which is equal to 35. So you have a total of 35 marbles inside the bag. Now, what we need to do is, if a marble is drawn at random, if a marble is drawn at random from the bag, find the probability that it is a yellow or white marble. So the first part, A is asking for probability that it is yellow or white marble. So you can see that this event are disjoint. A yellow marble cannot be white or white cannot be yellow. So there is no chance that these two occurs at the same time. Also, we are drawing a single marble. So definitely it's not going to happen at the same time. So, because these two events are disjoint, the formula for probability of this will be probability of yellow or white is equal to probability of yellow plus probability of white. Now, probability that the yellow marble will occur, we have 7 yellow out of 35, so 7 over 35, 7 over 35 plus the white marbles, you have 16 out of 35. 16 out of 35. So if we add that, that is equal to 23 over 35. 23 over 35. That is the probability. If you change this to decimal, this would be 0 0.6571. 0 0.6571. So that is the probability of uh, probability that a randomly chosen marble is yellow or white. Okay, let's look at B. In B, we want to find the probability, okay, find the probability that it is a red, blue, or yellow. So this is the extension of the case which is here for two now here we are taking three different marbles so probability that is red or blue or yellow and these events are also disjoint so we can write the formula as probability of red plus probability of blue plus probability of yellow so in first case we have only two events connected by or, so we have two probabilities in addition. But here we have three probabilities connected by or, so we have three probabilities in addition. So we have to find the probability of each. Probability of red, you have three out of 35, so three over 35. Three over 35. Probability that it's blue, you have nine out of 35, so this is 9 over 35, then we have plus probability of yellow, 
you have 7 over 35. 7 over 35. So if we add all these, we get 19 over 35. 19 over 35. And when you change it to decimal, this must be 0 0.5429. So that is the probability that the randomly chosen marble or randomly drawn marble from the bag is a red, blue, or yellow marble. So this is the case of disjoint probability. And we use the addition rule, the simple addition rule. The second addition rule now, and this is for non-mutually exclusive or joint event. Now they are not exclusive, instead they are inclusive or joint. So meaning of that is these two events, uh, these two probab probability events are the probability events that occur at the same time. So when A is occurring, B can also occur at the same time. Or when B is occurring, A can also occur at the same time. So this type of probability is the non-mutually exclusive or joint probability. So if this circle represents probability of A, this circle represents probability of B, then this common reason here is probability of A and B. So the formula for non-mutually exclusive event will be probability of A or B equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus, because you are counting this twice, you count this in A and also you are counting that common reason in B. So what you have to do is, as this is counted twice, we have to subtract it, minus probability of A and B. So this is the formula for the joint probability events. So here we have the example based on that. A card is drawn at random from a well-suffered deck of cards. Find the probability that it is either an eight or a diamond. So we are looking for probability that it is eight or diamond. So you can see here there is one 8 which is 8 and also diamond. So this is common to both cases. 8 is that 8 out of these four 8s that's one 8 which is also the diamond. That means these two the 8 and diamond can occur at the same time. So this is the joint probability and there is or so we have to use the addition rule which is probability that it is 8 plus probability that it's diamond minus probability that is it is that it is 8 and diamond. So probability that it is 8, you can see we have 4 8s out of 52. So 4 over 52 plus diamond, these are all diamonds, that is 13 out of 52. 13 out of 52, then minus 8 in diamond, there is one card, this one, this is 8 and also this is diamond, so the 1 out of 52, minus 1 out of 52, which is equal to, if we simplify the fraction, it is 16 over 52, or if you change it to decimal, it is you can, you can even reduce this. If you reduce, it will be 4 over 13. And if you change it to decimal, it will be 0 0.3077. You can give the answer as a decimal like this, or you can give the answer as a reduced fraction like this. In part B, we have to find the probability that it is either red or a king. So the question is, we have to find the probability that it is red or king. So what we have to do is we have to check whether this is joint or disjoint event. So red and a king. You can see here there are two kings which are red. So these are kings and also red. That means these are joint event. So the formula will be probability that it's red plus probability that it's king minus probability that it is red and king. Now, let's find each of these probabilities. Probability that it's red, there are 13 plus 13, 26 red cards. 
out of 52, 26 over 52, then plus probability that it's a king. There are four kings out of 52, four out of 52 minus red and a king. Red, these two are red and also they are kings. So there are two cards like that, two out of 52. So if you simplify this, you should get 28 over 52. 28 over 52. So you can change these to reduce fraction as 7 over 13. And you can leave it there or change it to decimal and it will be 0 0.5385. That is the probability. So this is the addition rule of probability where we use the formula for the joint probability. In the previous example, we used the disjoint probability. So what we have seen is, if we look at these two formulas, if the events are disjoint, we have PA plus PB, and the event are joint, like this one, if the event are joint like this one, then we have to subtract minus probability of A and B. So meaning of that is, if the events are mutually exclusive, here you can see, if the event are mutually exclusive, you don't have that minus probability of A and B. So meaning of that is, in mutually exclusive event, this probability, which we subtract here, must be zero. So you'll say that for the events to be mutually exclusive, probability of A and B must be zero. So we are going to check a condition or we are going to look at a problem and we'll try to verify whether it is mutually exclusive or not. So let's take an example here. Here we have this example and we have to check whether this is mutually exclusive or not. They have given the sample space S, they have given the event A and event B and also event C. So first part, are event A and B mutually exclusive? So what we have seen is, if A and B, if A and B are exclusive, mutually exclusive, let me write mutually exclusive, mutually exclusive, then what we know is probability of A and B must be zero. Okay, then only they will be mutually exclusive. So for example, the first part, if I want to find probability of, here we have two events A and B, A and B is equal to, when I say A and B, this is the common element between A and B. So if you look at A and B here, the only common element that I can see is four and five. So two elements are common. Two elements are common over the total number in the sample space. This is my sample space. In sample space, I have, if you look here, in sample space, I have 10 elements. So two over 10, which is one fifth, and that is not equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, then we say that they are mutually exclusive. So these two events, A and B, are non non-mutually exclusive. A and B are non-mutually exclusive. Non-mutually exclusive. Non-mutually exclusive, meaning of that is they are joint. Okay, mutually exclusive means disjoint. So they are not disjoint, they are joint. Now let's find out this one. Are these two mutually exclusive, A and C? Same thing, we'll check probability of A and C, A and C, and we look for any common element between A and C if there are any. This is our A and this is our C. When you look at A and C, in A we have one, two, three, four, five, in B we have seven and nine. There is nothing common. So how many elements are there which are common to A and C? None or zero out of how many elements in sample space? Out of 10, out of 10. So which is equal to zero. So what we see here is 
A and C, the probability of A and C is zero. So if A and C, the probability of A and C is zero, we say that the events are mutually exclusive. So this is mutually exclusive. So this is the case of mutually exclusive, or we can say disjoint, disjoint, okay? And here, non-mutually exclusive in part A, meaning of that is, this is joint event, joint event. So in this video, we explored the addition rules of probability, the first one, the case for mutually exclusive or disjoint event. We look at the example based on that. Then we work on non-mutually exclusive or joint event. We work on the example based on that. And finally, here we discuss that for the events to be mutually exclusive, probability of A and B must be zero. And in the last example, we checked that uh, here, A and B are non-mutually exclusive or they are joint and event A and C are mutually exclusive or joint. So that is the end of this short video on addition rules for probability. I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching.